Hey guys, um, so it's week 16 now and um, this week I'm using my new camera and it's just like a Canon digital camera so it's supposed to have HD video so just let me go let me uh, um, let me know whether you prefer this like the quality of this video or my usual like Mac laptop videos on iMovie um, so anyway I went to my dermatologist yesterday um, to get my last like um, group of pills because I'm going to be returning to the UK next week um, so basically he gave me all the pills that I'm going to need until the end of my course so I, I have six weeks left six weeks of pills to take until I'm completely done and I started at the beginning of June which means that I'll be taking it for a total of um, five months I think so I'm gonna be done by the end of October um, the reason I still have six weeks left is because I still get um, pimples on my upper back um, I don't know why but um, they're quite big as well so basically I still get cystic acne on my back and my doctor said this might be because of the weather here um, in Hong Kong because it's very hot and humid so um, you'll naturally you'll sweat and you know sweat can clog pores, cause pimples, you know, you know the, how it goes. So basically he gave me um, this topical lotion, to, this antibiotic topical lotion to put on my, uh, the pimples on my back twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. And it's just like the same antibiotic, actually no, it's clindamycin phosphate lotion. And it's just like a roll-on so yeah I started using it last night but you know I'm really lazy so I didn't use it this morning I'm just <laughs> gonna use it once a day like once at night I'm not too fussed to be honest cuz I don't care about like my back as much as my face obviously and my face has been as you guys know it's been like completely clear for except for scars um, for pretty much two months maybe even a bit more and so if it wasn't for my back um, I would be able to get off the medicine much sooner um, so anyway that's what's going on um, yeah let's see okay so you guys know that on my face I basically only use my Clinique Moisture Surge and sometimes when I feel when it's feeling really parched I'll use my Cetaphil Lotion on top um, but because I thought you know maybe it's not that good to use Cetaphil Lotion on your face because not exactly you know specifically made for the skin on your face I tried looking for like a face moisturizer and I specifically wanted you know oil free um, non comedogenic and uh, for sensitive skin um, so I wasn't really fussed about whether it, would, um, it was organic or not but basically there was um, I was in the shop looking for it and there was a really annoying woman um, trying to you know promote the brand that she's working for because it was kind of like a department store drug store you know how it goes like different brands um, and basically she was trying to push this brand towards me and it's called Atorage AD I'll put it in the sidebar, um, and it's a Japanese skincare brand, and it's completely organic, um, well, she claims it's oil-free, but then I looked at the ingredients at the back, and it had, like, you know, macadamia oil, almond oil, and stuff, um, so I didn't want to, like, risk it without doing some research, but I couldn't find anything on it online, probably because it's, like, Japanese, and there aren't many reviews on it. So, if any of you guys have like heard of it or tried any of their products or know any friends or family who've tried their products, please let me know because I'm, I'm quite interested in one of their um, like daily face moisturizers. Um, so yeah, and this woman was being so pushy so I just, you know, how that puts you off buying things. So I was like, sorry, I want to do my research first. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Nothing has changed apart from the fact that, you know, I started getting pimples on my back again. Um, let me see. 